Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be talking about a issue occurring between VirtualBox and the Windows hypervisor. Some users have been experiencing problems running both the Windows hypervisor and VirtualBox together. I've ran into this recently where I haven't been able to install certain Linux distributions as well as even launch some virtual machines after enabling WSL2. First, I want to show you the issue I've been running into. So I'll go ahead and launch VirtualBox real quick. Inside VirtualBox, the issue I've been having is once I select a distribution, currently I have Bunsen Burner Linux Lithium installed here, I get a failure to actually be able to boot up either the Linux distribution. I've also had issues with trying to install various different Linux distributions. Uh, the last one I tried was Ubuntu, and midway through the installation, I would just get a failure to install. Then a few users in the comments section reported having similar issues and another user actually suggested that for them the problem occurred after installing WSL2. So in order to fix this issue of not being able to launch a VirtualBox virtual machine and or install a new one, I confirmed that a lot of users have had this issue. If you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. And the reason being is there's something between enabling the hypervisor for Windows and using things such as WSL2 or other features that use the hypervisor. So how do we shut this off so we don't have issues anymore? If you're currently experiencing issues, of course. So what you can do is go to the start menu and type features and you'll see this turn Windows features on or off. You'll want to select this and open it up, and then you're going to scroll through and try finding anything that has to do with hypervisor, virtual machines. Stuff that I've personally experienced causing me issues are such things as the virtual machine platform. Right now, I do have that installed, and it is necessary to run WSL2. What I figured out is with this checked, I can't actually use VirtualBox all that much. Yeah, it works with some virtualization still, but definitely hoses up most of my current virtual machines. Also, my installs have pretty much all failed after enabling this. So uh, what I did here was simply just uncheck this box here and then hit OK, which will ask me whether or not I want to restart the system. What I figured out is in order to go ahead between WSL2 and using VirtualBox, I have to go ahead and toggle this on and off for when I want to use WSL2 versus when I want to use for experimentation purposes. So another helpful thing to know is that uh, this Windows hypervisor platform has also been known to cause issues, at least that I've uh, read up on, and really anything that has to do with the Windows hypervisor. An interesting thing that I found is uh, having this Windows subsystem for Linux checked hasn't really caused me any issues, but if you do have it checked and you're still getting issues, you might want to go ahead and try turning that feature off as well. I don't think there's really anything else in here that requires the Windows hypervisor. So what I'll do is I'm going to hit OK, and then Windows will actually turn off that feature, but not before you restart your computer. Make sure to go ahead and restart the computer. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And once you're back in, after a restart, you should be able to go ahead and launch your VirtualBox Manager again and then select whatever machine you have and try starting it again. Hopefully that fixes it. I know this has been causing issues, at least for me, and I wanted to make sure to go ahead and create a video on it just to see if it might help someone else. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and launch Bunsen here and just make sure that things are working properly again. And it looks like I can log in, so I will do so and it seems like Bunsen is working again. You may or may not have issues. I think it depends on which Linux distribution you're running as well as whether you've already installed it or not. Again, it kind of varies between systems, but just know that this is a potential problem where the two conflict with each other and VirtualBox stops working. Hopefully with an update of Windows, we'll be able to go ahead and use both VirtualBox and the Windows hypervisor together. But until then, it looks like I'm going to have to switch on and off the Windows hypervisor features. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Let me know if you've had any issues with this, and also make sure to subscribe for future videos, and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.